Well, hello there. It's Cam and Reminder here at the Space Center, and we're going to talk about things that matter. Well, actually, not things that matter. We're going to talk about matter itself, right? Yeah, states yes. of matter. States of matter. So how many states of matter are there? There's three common states of matter. And they would be? Solids, liquids, and gases. I think most people probably know about that, but we're going to talk about a particularly um, odd state of matter that's not one of those three. No, it's the fourth state of matter. It's called plasma. Hmm, hmm, plasma. Now you brought grapes. Why did you bring grapes? Because we're creating plasma out of those grapes. Out of the grapes? Why, why did you let me eat that thing then if we're going to make plasma out of it? Well, I didn't tell you to eat it. It's not dangerous or anything, is it? Uh, no, but the experiment, uh, I would not recommend you try Don't this try out. this at home. Don't try this at home, but really, it's not something we want you trying. And I'm looking at Johanna, really, because uh, she likes to try these at home. So um, for everybody, including, uh, including her, please don't try this at home. We're going to make plasma today. Yep. This is pretty cool. Now, where do people find plasma on a normal, normal day? Well, you just have to look up at the sun. So the sun is actually a big ball of hot plasma. Okay, so now I'm a little worried because I know the sun is um, fairly dangerous and we're going to be making this plasma here at the uh, of the observatory, right? Mm -hmm. You sure this is going to be okay? Uh, it should be okay. You're a trained astronomer, right? Uh, I believe so. Okay, good. And I've been to theater school, so we should be fine. All right, so what do we need? Uh, just a couple of grapes. Okay. And a microwave. All right. Well, let's uh, let's set this up and we'll be uh, we'll be right back. So, uh, again, making plasma. Now, before we make plasma, which again, don't try this at home, you should probably explain what exactly plasma is. So, in plasma, if you have a gas and you put it at really high temperatures, the elect it's actually becomes, it becomes ionized. So the electrons will actually leave the gas. And so, and how much uh, heat are we talking about? How much voltage are we talking about here? Well, for the sun, you need, you know, you need millions of degrees. Right. But here, we're not creating the same way. We are just uh, uh, creating arcs of electricity, which is hot enough to actually ionize the air um, inside the microwave. Excellent. All right, now you've, uh, you've got a couple of grapes in there, and he's done some astronomy magic to it. Uh, and uh, we're going to close the door and see if we can actually create a little bit of, a little bit of plasma. Yep. All right, let's give it a shot. Wow. So that's, that, was, that was plasma. What we were seeing there was actually this. We were seeing arcs of electricity that was creating plasma. So what was happening was the electric field of the entire microwave was concentrated into the grapes. Now, again, for folks at home, please, please don't try this. Not only is it dangerous, it can actually ruin your microwave, which is why we're using Reminder's mother's microwave. For the Express here at the H.R. McMillan Space Center, I'm Cam Cronin. I'm Reminder Samara. And uh, please don't try this at home. 